For everyone's safety, please make sure your personal belongings are clear at the aisle. You may now use all approved personal electronic devices. You guys, we made it to New Zealand. We're here, we're in Queenstown. The weather's amazing. Yeah, it's really it's nice. so nice. It's not very humid, but it's warm because it's summertime. Airbnb. We don't know exactly what we're doing or where we're going, but this is what it looks like from the outside. Okay, this is indeed right. Hello, Nicole. Yay. Let's see. It's so cute. It has a giant sauna bathtub thing. Definitely gonna use that. The shower's nice. Check it out. We got our own little couch. Cute little room. Jillian's checking it out. Signing the guest book. Flat screen kitchenette and beautiful view of Queenstown. Big fan. We're grabbing lunch today at this like famous burger joint. It's called Ferg Burger and the line stretches outside the building. There's so many people here like at all times. Yeah. I think this place this is, is actually pretty quiet. For yeah, the, we hopped in the line because there's not a lot of people in line right now, but this place is open till 3 a.m. and there's still people just bustling around getting burgers. The burgers are giant. They're as big as your face and I'm really hungry right now, so this is a good timing for this meal. Okay, I'm gonna try the fries first. I don't like fries, but they're really good. They're warm. They're like just the right crunchiness. Okay, you guys. We're going in on the burger. I got the tropical swine one. It has bacon and grilled pineapple and all the veggies. Look at that. Mm. Oh my God, this is so good. 10 out of 10. The flavors are really good. Their meat here is really good quality. Mm. So good. Their menu is kind of crazy. So it's not just regular burgers, but they have fish burgers, they have veggie burgers, chicken burgers. Um, they even have lamb burgers, which I guess is probably not such a weird thing because lamb is a really big thing in New Zealand. There's 11 sheep per person here, so there's lamb all over the place. Wow, okay, new mission in life is to figure out how to make a burger that tastes that good. That was unreal and I'm so happy. My belly is so happy, yes! <laughs> We're in the grocery store right now and I just found my favorite chocolate milk, you guys. I'm obsessed with chocolate milk and New Zealand has some of the best dairy in the world because of the way they raise their cows. And so when I lived here, um, I was introduced to Lewis Road chocolate milk made with Whitaker's chocolate, which is like the Ghirardelli of New Zealand. And I have it! I'm so excited! I have chocolate, milk and honey, what's this one? Strawberry, double espresso, okay, gingerbread, and Oh my gosh, caramel. New Zealand has some of the best chocolate and it's from a brand named Whitaker's. Look you guys at these bars. They're so big and they have a million different flavors. It's so amazing. So I'm about to get myself one. Peanut butter. Okay, we're probably gonna have to get this one too. Ah, and this one too. Okay, get me out of this aisle. Okay, one of my favorite New Zealand snacks are Tim Tams. Tim Tams actually are in America now, but they don't have all these flavors. Look, we have these ones that are different when you put them in the freezer. Um, different flavors from a gelato shop. And then they have the regular, and the caramel, and the double coated, and the dark. These are my favorite. We're gonna get these today. What'd you get? Chocolate. <laughs> Some more chocolate. Hello. Hello. Look at all the snacks we got. Yes. Okay. So this is day one. We um, went on our first outing to try to go to Glenarchy and the road is closed, so we had to turn around. But now our van is stuck. <laughs> Emotional trauma starting to happen. It's unfortunate. Ah, we made it! We got the van up! Woo. I'm glad we made it. <laughs> Woo! Got it! We got the crew with us. Some of us, not me, are going bungee jumping. Alyssa's going. How do you feel, Alyssa? Sick. <laughs> Just feeling sick. And Josh is going too. How do you feel about bungee jumping? A little nervous. Excited. I'm gonna be cheering on from the sidelines. This is what I do best. But apparently, we're going on a pretty intense zip line that I don't quite know how I feel about. I'm signing my life away. Are you okay go with potential so death? Yes. <laughs> I 
just made it to Wanaka. There's a giant lake here um, with a tree in the middle of it. So we're gonna go check that out. But first, we're gonna get some gelato because it's really hot outside. <laughs> like, this is the warmest it's been since we've been here, which actually feels really great. In New Zealand, there's a hole in the ozone layer, so the sun actually warms you up a lot quicker and you get more rays. early this morning because we're going to oh we're going on a hot air balloon ride i was gonna say we're going to milford sound but that's later today we're going on a hot air balloon right now in the sunrise for the sunrise how do you put the that sunrise. in a sentence correctly <laughs> my brain does not work this early in the morning we're going on hot air balloon moral of the story I'm gonna see some things and it's gonna be amazing that's why we got the space buns in today It's our last full day in New Zealand. We're gonna be exploring Queenstown and going to, where are we going, Bob's Cove? Going to Bob's Cove, here's the crew. Loading up, moving out. I just got a steak and mushroom pie from the Mrs. Ferg Bakery. Meat pies are a really um, popular thing in New Zealand, but I've never actually had one, so we're gonna give it a go. Ooh, it's good. It tastes like a roast. We just climbed to the top of Bob's Cove right now. It's so quiet and peaceful. Everybody is just taking it in, taking photos of everything.
said, that went by so fast. Yeah. It was so much fun. We both feel like death because we've been on a plane for how long? 23 hours. 23 hours. We're about to go through customs, so I gotta turn this off.